Hello techies In this tutorial we will learn how to work with list chart action which is available in Microsoft Teams Before going to learn about this list chart let me show you a small scenario Let me switch to Microsoft Teams Over here inside my menu I am having chart Now if you observe in the charts I am having group charts one on one charting and team meetings correct now if i want to retrieve the recent charts which we have done it with the particular team members or across the organization how can we go ahead and get the list of these charts by using power automate desktop there we are having an action called list charts action to retrieve the recent charts which we have done with the team members all right let me drag and drop this list chart action onto the workspace the main purpose of this action is to retrieve a list of recent charts which we have done in one on one charting group chart or meeting discussions all right now the parameters of the list chart is the first one is the chart types there are three types of charts that chart types that we have let me click on drop down there you can see i'm having group meeting one on one chart or you can select the all charts at the first step i'm going to select group and the second parameter you can see over here topic what is topic over here let once again let me switch to microsoft teams there you can see in my charts i am having the topic over here that has administrator discussion right for the remaining things i don't have any kind of topics over here right these are all topics are blank in such cases i'm going to filter this topic over here in a such a way if the topic is is defined or is not defined or else you can select all the charts irrespective of the topic is defined or not as a first step i'm going to select all charts over here now once the parameter has been defined you can store the output in the variable that is gets charts response all right let me click on save now let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and it is trying to retrieve the recent charts from the microsoft teams by using an action called list charts the flow has executed successfully and the output has been stored inside my flow variable that is get charts response let's double click on that to see the output there you can see inside my variable value i am having o data count as 3 and o data context that is metadata charts that we are having and if you want to see the values there we are having the property that is value let's click on more now if you observe i am having three items over here the item you can see over here topic is administrator discussion and the two values are having topic equal to blank another one is topic is blank now let's click on more with the topic administrator discussion there you can see i'm having an id and the topic you can see over here administrator discussion and the create date and time and last updated date and time all right now let me go back once again and i'm going to select another value let's click on more there you can see i'm having an id and the topic is blank created date and last modified date all right let me click on close now to make you understand i'm just going to click on list charts and there you can see this topic works as a filter all right now we have selected topic as all charts so that it has retrieved all the values which are having in the group chart right that is chart type is group now what i'm going to do i'm going to filter it and i'm going to give it as is defined in that case what will happen wherever the topic has is defined it will filter the values and it will retrieve the values from the group chart and then the output will be stored inside my get chart response right as we know the output will get it only one value all right let me click on save now once again let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started the flow has executed successfully now we'll go for the output variable that is get chart response let's double click on that now if you see the properties over here that is o data count is 1 because 
we have selected the topic as is defined now we'll see the values over here let's click on more there you can see the topic is administrator discussion which has been defined all right let's click on more now you can see id topic created date and last modified date all right let me click on close now to make you understand i'm going to give some more parameters over here in the chart type let's double click on the list charts there i'm going to select the chart types as one on one chart and you can see over here i'm going to select the topic is all charts or is defined or not defined i'm going to select all charts over here and the output will be stored inside my charts that is get charts response all right let's click on save now once again let's run the flow to see the output for the chart type one on one flow execution started and it is trying to retrieve the list of recent charts by using the parameter chart type one on one chart flow has executed successfully now we'll see the output over here that is gets charts response flow variable there you can see inside my variable value i am having count as 7 and the values over here you can see the values let's click on more you can see over here i am having seven items over here which starts with the index 0 1 2 3 and so on up to 6 all right and you can see over here for everything topic is blank which i have not defined any topic for that one on one charts right so that the topic is blank over here for all the things now we will drill down more on this one let's click on more there you can see the properties are the same there you can find i am having id topic create date and time and last updated date and time so you can see over here i'm having the ids are a little bit different which are coming with unq.gbl.spaces and the remaining all are as is at the same for the group charts or one-on-one -on -one chart or meeting chart types all right let me click on close now if you want to retrieve all the chart types irrespective of the group chart or meeting or one-on-one -on -one chart in that case i'm going to select chart type as all chart types and the topic irrespective of the topic is defined or not defined i'm going to select all charts over here now if you observe over here this chart types working as the filter as well as topic also is working as a filter to retrieve the data based on the conditions i hope you understand how to work with list chart action as part of this tutorial